In this video, I will show you how to generate unlimited AI sticker packs for Halloween. It's the easiest way and no need for other tools like Canva. First type your prompts, select the aspect ratio you want and how detailed you want to make your AI sticker. I can generate four images at a time with the pro plan, but the amount of times I can generate again is unlimited, which is great. Select each sticker carefully. Look for errors in the hands or objects. You can be picky since you have unlimited attempts. Copy each sticker you like and remove its background. Repeat the same steps and you have all the stickers you want. I sometimes create sticker packs of four and sometimes five. This time I will show you how to combine five together and how to space them in the canvas. So I chose six, then remove the ghost one. I see a lot of ghost stickers in the print-on-demand websites. So let's be creative. I forgot the Wolf Girl sticker, but it's all right, we have what we need. I chose these five. Kawaii anime boy dressed as a vampire, holding a tiny bat with glowing red eyes, white background. Kawaii anime witch cat with a tiny pointed hat and a broomstick, eyes sparkling with mischief, white background. Kawaii anime boy dressed as a mummy with unraveling bandages, holding a tiny lantern, white background. Kawaii anime girl with vampire fangs, wearing a black cape, and holding a smiling pumpkin, white background. And finally, kawaii anime skeleton dog with a glowing bone in its mouth and a tiny ghost hovering nearby. White background. Now create a square canvas to organize the stickers on. Yes, remove it after you finish. Press send to back and resize the five stickers to fit the canvas. When you finish, delete the square canvas, then select them all and press merge. Now export them at the size that you want. I believe 10,000 is enough. You can go for higher pixels if you want, but beware of the size of the final results. This is how they look. They are vectors. When you first generate them, but they become an image when you merge them so you can go back to Recraft AI and vectorize them together. But this will change the look a little bit. You can always erase some mistakes. I prefer to use the image without vectorizing it. After all, it's 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. The quality should be nice. Now let's talk about selling them. There are many print-on-demand websites to sell your stickers on. For example, Etsy, Redbubble, and Zazzle. I will show you how they look on Zazzle then. We'll show you how to do Halloween keyword research. On Zazzle, select the custom vinyl sticker and upload your image there. It will place perfectly because it's a finished design. We did all we need to do on Recraft AI. Now for the keyword research, you can go to pod websites and look for the keywords there, or go to ChatGPT and type the prompt I'm showing you on the screen. The results ChatGPT gave me are awesome. Just avoid some trademarks and don't use the word sticker as a tag. Also, you must say that this is an AI image in some pod websites like Zazzle. Don't forget to add the keyword generative content. If you want other AI stickers tutorial using other AI image generator, check this video out. Thanks for watching.